So today I'm going to be talking about the PS4 database like problem. So basically, your hard drive is failing. So what that basically means is, you know, to to fix that, you're going to have to actually delete corrupted data. Like if you can log on to your PS4. You're going to have to actually log on and boot into your PS4 to fix that issue. All you really want to do is you want to make sure you delete all the corrupted data that you have on your PS4. Like you'll see, like, if you're getting the error message that says corrupted database, just go through and look for every application or save data or theme or whatever's on your PS4. If it says corrupted data, delete it and then restart your PS4 in safe mode and to do that you have to hold it for two second or hold it until you get two beeps once it beeps twice you'll be in safe mode from there you'll choose option five which is rebuild database but you it won't work unless you delete all the corrupted data you know what I'm saying you have to actually go through your your PS4 delete all your corrupted data then go through and hit rebuild database if you just hit rebuild database without actually deleting the, the corrupted files, it, it ain't going to work. You're going to end up, um, what you're actually going to do is make it worse. And then you're going to get the message that says, um, failed to rebuild the database. And then you're really screwing yourself. You're pretty much, you're digging yourself a bigger hole. So you want to delete your corrupted data and then boot into safe mode. Hit option number five, rebuild database, and it should take about, I don't know, five, ten minutes, depending how much data you have. Now also, I suggest if you have an external hard drive, make sure that you, first thing you want to do is delete everything that says corrupted, but make sure you unplug your external hard drive before you rebuild the database, because... Most likely, the corruption's not gonna be, you know, in your external hard drive. It's probably gonna be in the system storage itself. So what you're gonna gonna do is just unplug your hard, external hard drive and then rebuild it with just your base stock drive. That's you know your internal drive. Um, so that should fix your issue. But it ain't gonna work unless you delete the corrupted or the corrupted apps. Now, if you actually can't even boot into your PS4 at all, you can't get on, you cannot delete your corrupt data. Then, first off, go ahead and try option number five: rebuild database. See if it works. It should actually allow you to boot into the PS4 at that point. Then you can go through, delete your corrupted data, then you can go back to option 5, do that, and then you should be good. But you can't, if you can't get into your PS4 at all, rebuild the database anyways from safe mode, as long as you can get into safe mode. Rebuild database from there, then delete it and restart and do, the, and do it again. Um, but if you actually can't still get into... Your PS4 operating system, you still cannot function at all. What you want to going to do, um, hopefully at this point, you can still access safe mode. If you can still access safe mode, then your, your only other option would be to either A, replace the hard drive because it's completely failed and it's not going to... You know, it's not going to work if if a rebuild database did not didn't work, and if you deleted your corrupted data, and then rebuild the database, and it still did not work. You have to do option number seven, which would be initialize the PS4, and that'll essentially like force wipe your entire hard drive. So, that being said, if you're going to do that, try to get all your saves backed up, all your games backed up to your external hard drive. Or if you have anything on your external hard drive, unplug that so you can keep them games, but then go ahead and initialize the PS4 and it'll actually wipe 
your stock PS4 internal hard drive completely clean and you'll have to re-download or reinstall the firmware and you can get that firmware download off of sony.com there's a fo there's a link on their website for PS4 firmware just follow them steps it actually tells you right on sony.com um, but you know don't bother keeping your external hard drive plugged in and then initializing if the actual error is not coming from your external hard drive because then you just wait you're just you're losing games that you don't need to so try and pinpoint the location of the error and initialize or rebuild the database for those one of them options and that should pretty much fix anything regarding corrupted data uh, database base issues whatever the issue may be anything of that nature that will actually um, you know it should fix your issue guys so <clears throat> I hope this helped a lot of you guys I hope you guys um, you know stay tuned into some of my channel later on as I'm, I'm currently going through a stage where um, I'm trying to upgrade my mics, I'm trying to get mics, you know, voiceovers in my videos. A lot of you guys have subscribed from previous, a lot of my videos don't have any voiceovers, which I apologize, <clears throat> but I'm, I'm working, working on it, guys, so I appreciate everybody that uh, supports this video, and I hope you guys will actually like, share, and subscribe this, to this video and channel, and, you know, help me, um, you know, grow guys that's that's really the biggest issue is just not growing um, but I'm working constantly 24 7 around the clock on my channel um, so I hope you guys liked this video I hope this helped you out I hope you guys can fix your PS4 hard drive